Okay, we're down here just north of the spillway at Oxbow uh, County Park, and we noticed there's a lot of beaver activity going on down here. We uh, believe there's more than one beaver doing this. There's, there's a lot of damage, not damage, but activity that's going on with the, uh, the beavers. And uh, you can see right here, I mean, uh, two feet in diameter, something like that. Uh, they're knocking down some pretty good sized uh, cottonwood here. Uh, but they are utilizing them. As you can see out there, they shoot off the bark and the, uh, the turtles are taking advantage of it. So beavers have their, their place in any ecosystem, as you can see. It's, uh, it's kind of interesting to, to see what they're doing down here, but they've chewed down a lot of trees. All right, so yesterday, Andy and I were out in the park filming some stuff about wildflowers. And we noticed a lot of beaver activity, so today we're out looking for maybe a lodge or maybe even a beaver. Well, you're not you're probably not going to find a beaver in the daytime. Uh, generally, they uh, they're nocturnal, especially around people. Um, I have read that uh, they they they're more active in the daytime when they're not around people. Mm -hmm. But um, generally, they're nocturnal animals, and that's when they do most of their activity. It's either late in the evening, nighttime, or very early in the morning if you want to see them. So we stopped here by the by the beaver lodge over here. Um, people think they usually make their lodge in the middle of the water, and many times they do. It really depends on the uh, on the environment. We have some steep banks here, and many of our beavers will utilize those steep banks to uh, to make their home. And that's exactly what this beaver has done here on the Elkhart River. We're just north of the spillway again, and uh, we're looking at the uh, the the lodge that. Oh 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 oh! Look look look. He's, he's right there. See? Let's get a picture of him. Okay. I think I'm going to try to sneak up on the back side of him and see if I can grab him. I got him. I got him. I got him. Uh, all right. Well, as you can see, this beaver has been well fed because he's stuffed. But I did get him. Look at those teeth. <laughs> I would never try to grab an animal out in the wild because those teeth could really do some major damage if I would get a hold of him like this, which I couldn't because he would have been in the water immediately before I ever got anywhere near him. But this is our stuffed beaver we use for programs. And as you can see, he's, uh, he's about, uh, they grow at about 60 pounds, so they can be, get uh, to be big beaver. This one's a smaller one. And uh, they got the tail that it's used for just about anything. Um, they use it for, for swimming. They use it for splashing in the water to, to uh, deter other animals, let other animals know there's danger around. They use it for, uh, in, the, in the fall, this thing will get real fat. They use it for, for utilizing food. Um, they also use it for, for bracing themselves on the on trees. They use it for, for temperature regulation of their body. So they use that for a lot of things. And look at that fur. He's got two layers of fur. This thick outer fur here with thick inner fur and then the uh, the guard hairs here which actually will shed water so he is really made for his environment he's got these small ears small eyes he's got um, a nose that he can plug up so that uh, water don't go in there he's got little goggles kind of nature's goggles that go over his eyes when he's swimming underwater and um, he can actually take these teeth bite on a, on, a, uh, on a limb and underneath water. And actually he's got a, a, um, a tissue in there that, uh, that closes up so it doesn't let water into his, into his, uh, into his throat while he's, uh, while he's carrying something. So he's actually made for his environment. Let's take a look at his environment here for a little bit. Uh, uh, he's heavy. So this is his lodge right here. And people ask, why isn't the lodge out in the middle of the river? This is, uh, this is a pretty high bank here, and as I was saying before, this, uh, this bank is utilized by the beaver because the, uh, the, they're kind of like muskrats, actually. And they would dig a hole into the bank, and they would dig an air hole up through there, and then they cover all that with, uh, with sticks and things like that. So they got an air hole in the wintertime, and they don't suffocate uh, underneath the ground. So this is the lodge, and you can see down here, this is where they're going to go into the water. So they go, they go in the water, underneath the water there, they've got a, uh, a hole underneath the water, into the bank, all the way up into here. So this has all been built up, this is all part of his lodge right here. 
So this is a yes. Uh, this is the North American beaver. They are our largest rodent in uh, in North America. They're uh, like I said, they get about 60 pounds, and uh, they there've been a lot of beaver activity along the river right here. So we uh, we just kind of ran into his uh, his lodge. You didn't know it was here before. We just kind of ran into it. So it's interesting, but uh, they're very sneaky. They're very shy. So it's hard to to actually find one, especially in the daytime. It's very hard to find them. But they're, uh, they, they, they come, they go, this area floods, they seem to leave, and then they, they just come right back. So we do have beaver in Elkhart County, and they're, they're actually quite common. Yes. All right, well, I'm uh, looking down here at some of the evidence of the beaver that has been here, and there's a lodge in here, and it's kind of fascinating. We're looking at something they eat, some, and uh, of course they do eat wood. Um, they don't always eat just wood. They eat cattails, a, a lot of vegetation that have corn or anything like that they can find. Um, wood does make up a large part of their diet. And as you can see, this thing is not eaten completely. They don't eat the whole thing. This is the dead wood or the heartwood of the, uh, of the tree. So basically what they're eating is the live part of the tree. The live part of the tree is that area right underneath the bark. And uh, we call it the cambium layer. Now you can see that uh, they do eat the, uh, the limbs because the limbs have a lot of, uh, these small limbs have a lot of nutrition to them. They eat the whole thing. But uh, this is dead wood and they don't eat the dead wood. They, uh, as you can see, he's been chewing on this quite a bit. These larger uh, sticks that he, he's got, now he may use that to, to dam up an area if it's uh, if he's in a, in a wetland or something like that. Um, beavers are very, uh, very resourceful, and they're one of the few animals that are actually able to change their environment. And um, generally when they change their environment, they change it for the better because it uh, it's advantageous to a lot of animals in the area, so uh, beavers are are very very beneficial to to uh, any ecosystem. Now, we just we just looking at this one right here at all the all the chew marks that he that he's made, and I've read that these teeth can grow two to three feet in one year. Now, whether that's true or not, I don't know. That's what I was reading, and um, so they got to do a lot of chewing. Now, a beaver's teeth is. Uh, it's, it's very, very sharp, and they, they, the more they chew, the sharper they get because the, um, the, the enamel stays real hard, but the dentine layer wears away, so it chisels out like a, uh, like a, like a sharp, sharp chisel. And um, if you notice, the beaver's teeth are red. A lot of rodents have that red uh, teeth. That's an iron oxide that actually makes their enam enamel stronger. So they, um, they've got very, very strong teeth. That's why I would never try to catch an, any animal out in the wild because they can really deliver quite a bite to them. And people have been killed by trying to catch the beaver. So he's not an animal that I would want to mess with. Like I said, they can get up to 60 pounds. So this guy here, he's probably family in here, may have um, a couple of kids in there. A kid is a little, a little baby beaver, maybe a mother and father. The kids will stay with their family approximately a couple of years. And, uh, and then they'll move out to a new area. They can stay under water uh, approximately 15 minutes. And uh, they'll live to be about, uh, about 15 years old, 10 to 15 years old out in the wild. In captivity, they can live up to, to about 20 years. And there's been uh, signs that uh, they can actually live up to 25 years. So there, we do have beaver around here and uh, they're very welcome in our park. And whenever we see them, we, we like to enjoy them while we can because we know the next year they may be gone.